इम्यूनोथेरेपी practically every single person wants to know what immunotherapy is why it is the latest buzzword in cancer treatment and how does it work to get to the basics immunotherapy is any kind of cancer treatment that stimulates the body's immune system to work harder or smarter to find and kill cancer cells in the body Researchers won the Nobel Prize in 2018 for their development of immunotherapy drugs and today we will discuss about the type of immunotherapy that is commonly used in routine clinical practice known as immune checkpoint inhibitors So let us first know how these drugs work These drugs are given intravenously once in every 2 weeks to once in every 4 weeks along with either along with chemotherapy or just by themselves what these drugs do is that they block the pathway between the cancer cells and the immune cells which is responsible for inactivating our immune cells and not allowing them to kill our cancer cells so in other words it removes this kind of cloak that the cancer cells have worn on them that shields them from getting destroyed by our own body's immune cells this enables our body's immunity to attack and destroy cancer cells and thereby improve your chances of getting cured or if you are diagnosed with an advanced cancer they further prolong a person's life span one thing to know is that not all patients respond equally well with immunotherapy drugs there are a few cancers which are known to have very good responses with immunotherapy these are melanomas which are a type of skin cancers which is a little uncommon in india lung cancers and especially cancers which develop in heavy smokers kidney cancers particularly the clear cell carcinoma variety of kidney cancers hodgkin's lymphoma which is a common lymphoma which develops in adolescents and young adults and also a subgroup of cancers of the oral cavity and cancers of the esophagus and stomach there are many cancers in which still immune checkpoint inhibitors have not shown to be very effective and hence they are not recommended and these are sarcomas ovarian cancers certain types of intestinal cancers and the majority of breast cancers are there any side effects with this medication now as chemotherapy drugs the traditional chemotherapy drugs which we use to treat all types of cancers in the body these drugs attack not just the cancer cells but also all the rapidly dividing cells in the body and hence you have side effects like hair loss nausea vomiting diarrhea fatigue drop in white blood cell count and hemoglobin and platelet counts etc but immunotherapy drugs they do not cause these kind of side effects at all but these drugs in some patients over activate the immune system and then these immune cells end up damaging the body's normal vital organs but not all patients develop severe side effects out of 100 patients who take immunotherapy drugs only 5 to 10% patients would develop serious side effects and this can involve any organ system in the body virtually ranging from the lungs which is known as autoimmune pneumonitis or the liver that is autoimmune hepatitis or the intestine that is colitis it can also cause thyroid hormone fluctuations it can even damage the pituitary gland causing you to need uh, hormonal replacement 
and it can rarely cause damage to the heart and the nervous system as well whenever we suspect that there is a severe side effect due to immunotherapy we stop these drugs immediately and give the patient steroid medications and other immunosuppressive drugs to suppress these side effects you can get the right guidance for immunotherapy under the care of a trained medical oncologist these doctors like myself would be there to explain to you the potential benefits and risks of immunotherapy on a case to case basis depending on the type of the cancer the profile of the cancer the different types of mutations that are there in the person's individual cancer and would also be available round the clock in case any minor or any major side effects emerge during immunotherapy treatment